hang a little over here. Um, it is currently about 2.45. Um, been awake for about 15-20 minutes. I don't know, maybe half hour. Just not quite able to get back to sleep, so I've moved from our master bedroom into um, what is our kind of one of our spare bedrooms, our craft room. I keep all my junk in there. Uh, and um, we have this set up so that when I do wake up and have a hard time getting back to sleep, I can move in here, um, have a futon set up that I can sleep on with Cora, pretty much. And um, we, or I guess I, will be sleeping in here for the rest of the night. Not really surprised that I'm having a hard time getting to sleep since I um, had some kind of bad news with a family member a couple of days ago that's been on my mind and then some more pretty bad news um, today. So, not really surprised, but I was hoping I could sleep through the night and then I have a doctor's appointment that I'm worried about. But, this is how it goes. We are uh, 32 weeks and, oh gosh, what is it, three days. So, we shall see. Cora and I will see if we can get some more sleep, so talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. It is now just before 7.15. Um, managed to get a little bit more sleep, so now we are having a super healthy breakfast of Rice Krispie Treats cereal. See if I can get the phone to set up here. Don't mind the glare. So, like I was saying last night, pretty typical. Um, I wake up usually at least once or twice uh, per night. Um, if I can't get back to sleep, I move from there in my room into the rec room where um, I will just sleep for the rest of the day or the rest of the night rather excuse me and um that's about it i usually have company of if i can get cora where are you at oh cora are you rubbing the saying hello so that's cora um just getting my cereal together um two things these days very tired and very hungry um, starting to get to the point where the baby is actually so big that um, <laughs> my stomach can't eat. like I can't actually handle very much but I can still eat quite a lot <laughs> hi sorry this is usually Cora and me time so she's probably like what the heck um, not really too much to update about just extremely tired extremely glad that it is Friday TGIF more so than normal um, I have a doctor's appointment at 10 30 and um, probably will be the next time that I update talking about how that went um, possibility that the appointment is going to change some of the stuff for pregnancy, but we're crossing our fingers that everything's okay. Um, baby's fine. It's an issue with me. So I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, little Wolfie again. I am on my way to my doctor's appointment. Um, I would apologize for my hair, but it's Friday and I, I don't care really. <laughs> so um, this is just a quick checkup on something. Um, a concern that I had at my last appointment um, the doctor decided that they should just have me checked out make sure everything's okay um, not really expecting anything to come out of it besides um, a lot of money from my pocket but um, I guess while I was driving here I was trying to think of different things they don't tell you about really or they don't, I don't think that they stress enough about pregnancy not so much of a complaint just a uh, an observation that I'm going through and it is just the 
unbelievable emotions you have. Um, I remember <laughs> with very little fondness junior high. Um, that would be perhaps where I went to school that was grade six through eight, which would be for anybody in the UK watching like, oh, 11 to 14-ish age-wise. And I just remember, you know, you're going through, essentially you're stuck with a bunch of pubescent kids with yourself and just the absolute emotions everything is really up or it's really down like down and up oh my god everything is so exciting so happy or you are depressed and it's the end of the world multiply at least in myself that by two and you have pregnancy emotions um i watched a video about conjoined twins and i was in tears just solid sobbing for probably a solid 20 minutes. It was ridiculous. And that's what it's like. Um, the further I get along, the more it's like that. I could think about my daughter and I start bawling. It's crazy. So <laughs> it's just ridiculous. The dumbest things like that would maybe get a, like a little chuckle out of me. And I'm a big, I'm a huge fan of laughter. I'm a huge fan of being happy. Um, one of the things about trying to be constantly happy is how annoying it is when you're not because people like to point it out and they like to tell you, oh my gosh, you're not very happy today. Well, no duh. Um, but, oh, just a second. Sorry about that. I was making a turn I needed both hands for. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of laughter. I try to be an upbeat person a lot of the time, um, or I fake it at least. And just the goofiest things will set me off laughing and it's not like a, oh, that's kind of funny. No, it's like I am laughing uncontrollably, like almost hysterical. Um, and the same thing with the other end. If I'm really sad about something, um, it might make me cry uncontrollably. And I've scared Barrett a couple of times with it. But uh, that's my quick update. Like I said, I'm on my way to the, on my way to the doctor. Excuse me. Um, and... Fingers crossed everything comes out really well. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so I'm back home. Doctor's appointment went well. Um, <clears throat> have follow-up next week. And not a lot really changing. Um, home from work, too. So I wouldn't have minded got, having had the entire afternoon off. But, you know, we don't always get everything we want. So I'm just chilling at home. I uh, sent my husband out. He's not not allowed to come back until he has a Valentine's Day gift for me. Uh, because I'm mean like that. So, not really a lot to talk about. Um, really. Just. Oh, I know. I had someone who was curious about um, my husband and my decision to not post anything related to our pregnancy on social media until... We were about at the halfway point. <coughs> Excuse me, please. And um, we're not posting, we're not planning on posting anything at all until um, the baby is born. <clears throat> it's pretty simple and I guess narrow mind. Well, there's a couple of different reasons. Sorry, I'm really, really wobbly today. I'm trying to find a comfortable place to hold this. Um, the first reason is that I have a couple of Facebook friends who struggled with infertility. Um, one of them wrote a blog about it, and although I don't feel at this point it's really necessary for me to hide my pregnancy, um, to spare the feel feelings, I guess, of those people that I know who are having fertility issues, at this point it's kind of a game, really, to see you know, we, we're telling people, if people ask me if I'm pregnant, yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant. Please don't put anything on Facebook. If you want to contact me about it, go on Twitter. I don't have as many friends there. Um, and so the first one, it was at first out of consideration for my friends. I didn't feel like being one of those, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant, posting every single day about how sick I was and how miserable I was pregnant and or how great this is. Because these people are, they're... They're stressed enough. I hear you, Cora. They're stressed enough. They're heartbroken every single time 
um, the woman, you know, they're both heartbroken every single time the woman's period comes, you know, and this is just one more thing. I'm already dreading that April Fool's Day is coming up, and at this point, so many people think it's great to post about that, but I won't look off my soapbox there. So that's the end of the first one. It started out being consideration for people I knew that were having fertility issues, and then it just kind of became a habit and a little bit of a game. Um, <clears throat> we think it'll be very entertaining that the first thing that we post about having our baby will most likely be a picture of her um, after she's born. <laughs> and I, mean, I have a, I have a hidden album available that I plan on making of it, you know, making public shortly after she's born as well. And then the second reason is just my own personal feelings towards um, social media and oversaturation with information. I have two friends, quick little story, two friends. The first one posted almost daily posts. I mean, pictures of herself, you know, telling me, or you know, telling, telling me, telling everybody everything she'd eaten, what she couldn't stand the smell of, how her emotions were going crazy, kind of like what I'm doing here, but on social media constantly, just long posts, const just all of the time, and pictures. And they just kind of like, uh, all right, no problem. I just stopped. I just started ignoring them when they got to the end. It ended up that the baby had a fairly ser serious medical condition. And so that, yeah, I cared. But just hearing so much information about how her personal pregnancy and the maternity photos, which kind of creeped and grossed me out, to be honest. Um, and so by the time the baby came, I, I, you know, he was healthy he, or he ended up being fairly healthy. I kind of could have cared less. That sounds terrible. I understand that. I'm a bad person, I guess. And then I had another friend who I had no idea she was pregnant. We're not terribly close, so I can't, it was not really a friend. A former co-worker, um, acquaintance, if you will. And I had no idea she was pregnant. One day, on the top of my news feed was a picture of a baby, her name, and she had tagged her boyfriend and said, I can't believe we made this. And there were like a zillion likes. <laughs> and it was just the shock that she had gone the entire pregnancy without mentioning anything on her Facebook page. She actually had gone a step further and hadn't told anybody um, aside from family and extremely close friends that she was pregnant. <clears throat> Me, I'm like, eh, I don't care if you find out or not. But I just, I really liked... I don't know my reaction I guess to the fact that she had a baby and she to this day still doesn't post a ton of things about her baby so I mean it's just it's all personal feel it personal opinion Pers I'm using the word personal a lot Barrett and I had decided that it wasn't anybody's business but ours for the first trimester um, and then after that I'm going crazy again. We decided that why not? And although babies do on April 4th, um, <laughs> we we feel like we've got a pretty good chance, given our personalities, uh, that she's going to be an April Fool's baby. So amongst all those stupid posts about people saying that I'm pregnant or blah this, blah that, I'm engaged, that are all lies, there will be one you know, if if she's born that day. We're like, hey, look, we had a kid. Look what we did. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I think that's about it. Sorry. Um, starting to actually have what I think are the Braxton Hicks contractions. My stomach is inc it's kind of hard and I can feel her squirming in there, which is really weird. Um, but it's not very painful. It's just kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird feeling. Haven't had that one, but um, as long as they're irregular and just kind of short and whenever I move, they stop. <coughs> no need to worry as long as they don't turn into real contractions um, for several weeks. But um, I think that's it for today, unless something exciting happens or I find something random. Um, I think that is it. I'm just going to, I'm sitting in, uh, in my 
glider rocker. Thank you to my in-laws for getting it for me. Um, with my feet up, just kind of enjoying life and trying to keep the swelling in my feet down. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Uh, thank God it's Friday. And have a happy Valentine's Day or Singles Appreciation Day. And Monday, happy 75% off chocolate day. Bye-bye.